is Helen Willits. Helen. Rita, thank you very much. It's mild, it's wet, it's windy. We've had some large waves around the coast this morning. This was Croyd a little earlier. Large waves, certainly a feature of the forecast this weekend. Why? low pressure. One still with us across the north, another is barrelling its way in from the Atlantic between just a brief weather window. But not for long. That drier spell for many today re replaced by wetter weather over the weekend, particularly tomorrow then showers follow. Some of the wettest weather perhaps Wales and the southwest. That's where the Met Office have warnings out for further concerns for flooding. But ahead of that, at least we've had some drier weather, hazy sunshine for the rest of the day. But already by the time we get to tea time, the rain's gathering, light and patchy to start with. But you can see waiting in the wings something more significant. So it's still relatively mild. The average is around about six or seven at this time of year. And in fact, temperatures won't drop much below that tonight. But there's a reminder that we have that warning because this rain, once it arrives, is stuck for, well, six to ten hours. As you can see, it looks set to clear from Northern Ireland later in the night. Temperatures dip back to seven degrees. But for most of us, it's a mild night and a rather grey and dreary start to our Saturday. It might be a while before that rain reaches the far south, east and east Anglia. But for most of us, if it's not rain this weekend, it'll be blustery showers. So blustery showers following the rain into Northern Ireland. That rain still dragging its heels across parts of Wales and the southwest, but then once it arrives further east, it's in for the day and then showers follow behind. So at least there'll be some sunshine in between and temperatures actually will dip a little bit, eights and nines and a little bit of sunshine in between those potentially heavy showers with the odd rubble of thunder. And those will continue through tomorrow night, through Saturday night, as the low pressure just closes in on us. So the winds are strengthening once again, gales already, gusts of 50, 60 miles, possibly more than that across the north and the west. And Sunday looks like a very blustery day. Lots of heavy showers, thunder, cold enough for a little bit of sleet and snow on the tops of the mountains, but it's not particularly cold for this time of year. It's just windy once again, and hence, as I say, that risk of some large waves continuing throughout the weekend, overtopping around some of the coasts as well. I think it'll feel a bit nippier on Sunday, but again, at eight or nine, that's a little bit above average anyway. What about beyond Sunday? Is there any sign of any drier weather? Well, perhaps briefly on Monday with the ridge of high pressure, but it's brief because already the weather fronts are queuing up in the Atlantic to come back in again on Tuesday and with it, the temperatures rise once again. There are warnings out, as I say, Rita, they're on our website. Helen, thank you.